Hello everyone here, Chris Capri, founder of Second Skies. Today we're going to talk about actually a combination of techniques uh, via request. Somebody wants some techniques and uh, information on how to trade Bollinger Bands on an intraday basis. They also want information on swing trading techniques and we're going to combine the two for some intra Bollinger trading techniques here. So let's get into this right off the bat here. Okay, so the technique or the setup that you're looking for is this. Firstly, you want two sets of Bollinger Bands. You want a 2.5 standard deviation in a one standard deviation Bollinger Bands. Try and make them different colors so you can differentiate them uh, pretty easily. Then I like to have also a 20 EMA inside here. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a breakout of the previous two days high or low. So once we have that, then we want to see the price action actually pierce the 2.5 standard deviation. Now if it pierces it, um, it doesn't have to close outside of it, but what we want is the price action to stay inside the pocket or inside this 1 and 2.5 standard deviation. If we have that, we're going to enter in on the open of the next candle as long as it doesn't retrace back within the same high. So it has to break it and stay above it here. Once we have that, we're going to actually take the trade in the direction of the trend and we're going to exit out of the position once we have a close inside the uh, actual um, 20 EMA in this case. So right down here is actually we have a close below the 20 EMA. We're looking for any candle. It could be a blue or red candle, but we're looking for a candle tag, the first candle to close below the 20 EMA here. So here we get in at 108.54. Here we get out about 109.30. It's a nice little 75, 80 pip move here in less than a day here basically. Let's take a look at another example of this one here. Okay, so here we have also kind of an uptrending type move here. Um, and so what we're seeing here is that on this little move right here, we have a nice little breakout of the previous two days uh, worth of price action here. And so we're going to take the direction. Uh, the price action actually stays inside of it here, inside the, uh, inside the pocket, and it pierces the 2.5. So we're going to get in on the open of the next candle. However, this one actually doesn't, uh, this candle doesn't open outside of the range. So we have to wait till the next one here, which is at about 106 and a quarter. We stay in the price action until we get our first close outside of, or below, in this case, the 20 EMA, and that's about 107.75, so nice 150 pips in about a day and a half worth of uh, trading. And then one more here on the Aussie dollar is that here, again, we have a nice little break of the uh, two-day low right over here, and the thing actually pierces the 2.5. It stays inside the pocket and it stays outside of the range, so we're going to take this trade until we get our first close above the 20 EMA in the opposite direction here. Get in 95.24, get out at 94.58. It's about 75 pips there. And then it gives us another re-entry as, boom, this candle breaks and closes outside of the last two days low. And so here we're in on the open of the next candle, which is right over here. Gives us a little bit of a push up, but it holds its position. And then finally exits out uh, with the first close outside the 20 EMA getting it at 94.8 and getting out at 93.29. So again, about another 75 pips there. So you can see how me this method is great for picking up huge swing plays, uh, moves in, in powerful trending directions, and yet it's pretty simple and easy for us to use here. Okay, so in summary, you're waiting for the two-day high and low breach there. Um, you also need to make sure the price action closes outside of the range and also is within the pocket there that's between the 1 and the 2.5 standard deviation. You also want to be patient as it could be a very powerful breakout or move or trending type move and you may have to be into it for a particular amount of time so just be patient with this one here. You can also trail it above, uh, using the 20 EMA. If it's an uptrend have the trail just below the 20 EMA and if it's uh, a downtrend you want to trail with the stop just above the 20 EMA that's really your container or your kind of uh, shadow in this one telling you, hey, when this thing gets breached, I no longer want to be in this trade here. For those of you who have questions about our services, we do private education and mentoring. Uh, every single month I take just uh, about a handful of traders and I teach them proprietary trading strategies, the same that I use every day, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And I take you anywhere from any level of profitability uh, or any level of trading to profitability inside one month. Uh, the systems that I use for that are from our 2S Sniper system, which has been incredibly successful. So those of you who are looking for proprietary institutional grade strategies, the 2S Sniper system has it. It actually has a portfolio suite of strategies, so you can actually pick different strategies for different markets. It has systems for every single type of environment and market you could possibly be in. So it allows you to mix and match and play with the ones depending on market environment and therefore not be dependent upon one system to be able to work within all environments, which just doesn't work. So this thing gives you every tool for every environment you could possibly want to be in. 
And some of you may want trade signals and live market analysis. I do two shows a week, and I give trade signals throughout the week, anywhere from three to 10 trades in a week. For those of you who have any questions, visit our website, www.2indyskies.com, or email me directly, info at 2 Until then, good hunting, everyone.